Hi, my name is Colby Brown. I'm a landscape travel and humanitarian photographer based here out of Boulder, Colorado. Now today we're taking a look at the Wacom Cintiq Companion 2. This is essentially the second generation in the Wacom Cintiq Companion line of portable and powerful tablets. These devices run full Windows 8.1, which means that you can use Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop, as well as any other application that you can install on a standard Windows platform. Now as a travel photographer, I spend much of my time on the road. Over this past year, I took the Wacom Companion, the first generation, on a variety of different trips around the globe. And while it was a disruptive technology that changed the way I edited my images on the go, the truth was that it had a few shortcomings as well that I'm hoping they correct with the second generation. The Wacom Companion 2 will ultimately come in four different models at a variety of different price points. The version that you see here is essentially the middle to upper tier of the different versions that will become available. With this version, you'll get a 2.5K screen, an i7-4558U processor that is about 15% faster than the previous generation. You'll also get three USB 3.0 ports, a micro SD slot, and improved speakers, among other things. Another big change with the Wacom Companion 2 is the fact that you can actually use it as a display along with any of your other desktops, be it Windows or Mac. This is a big change from the previous generation that wouldn't allow that technology to actually work. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that it comes with the same stand as the Wacom Cintiq Companion. This gives you three different viewing angles, which is a nice touch. Next inside the box, you'll see the new sleeve for the Wacom Cintiq Companion 2. Now the first generation was black neoprene and I was actually a big fan. With this version, it looks like they went with a more fashionable choice. Now, at the very top, you can see that it has a zipper where you can slide the tablet and the stand uh, in there to secure it and keep it safe. In the front, you have two different compartments, one to store the USB uh, keyboard that you can purchase separately for the Wacom Cintiq Companion, as well as a slot for the stylus that comes ready with all Cintiqs. Now, next up, we have the tablet itself. Now the first thing you're probably going to notice is the fact that you have two new express keys here on the left side of the tablet. This is a welcome change as more customization allows you to be more efficient with the different applications you might be using this tablet with. Now if we take a quick look at the side, you can see that we have a volume up and a volume down key. You also have a new and improved power switch that has a, a separate hold and lock, making sure that you don't accidentally turn it on like the first generation had issues with when it was inside the sleeve itself. Now at the bottom you have an auto rotation lock, um, which is always nice depending on the orientation you want to work with. On the opposite side, we have three USB 3.0 ports. We have an SD slot, which is a new addition to the Wacom Cintiq Companion 2. We have a mini display port. You also see uh, the new input display port, which essentially allows you to use this device as a secondary screen, as a secondary Cintiq essentially, uh, which is new to the Companion 2. Uh, and is, I'm really looking forward to using that. We also have a uh, power supply. You'll see two more USB 3.0 ports and then uh, our micro SD slot. And I forgot to mention that you also have your headphone jack down here. Now as we comb through the rest of the box, we have our case and the Wacom Cintiq stylus. Um, really handy to keep that in there, keeps it safe and secure. You're going to find microfiber cloth to keep your screen clean. You'll see half of your charging cable, as well as the rest of your power supply. Now here you're also going to find that you have your Windows 8.1 serial code, which is really important if you ever need to reinstall Windows uh, or use this for any other reasons. We also have the input display cables. Now this is where you plug it into that port, allowing you to use the Cintiq as a secondary display, taking advantage of all the pressure sensitivity that comes with it. Again, this is a new feature for the Wacom Cintiq Companion 2, something that you weren't able to do with the first generation. And lastly, we have some information on the warranty and a little bit of instructions, as well as 
some other random papers with information, websites where you can get the latest drivers and everything else. Well, there you have it. The unboxing of the Wacom Cintiq Companion 2. Now, by the time you watch this, I will probably have completed my full in-depth review of the Companion 2, comparing it to the first generation, as well as putting it through the paces and seeing what it's truly capable of. Thanks for watching.